the most commonly used hip replacement is a total hip replacement, um, where you resurface the socket, which is, sits inside the pelvis, uh, and you also replace the worn head. And there's a stem that goes down your thigh bone. Now, when you're talking about types of hip replacement, the two most commonly used types of hip replacement are either cemented or uncemented fixation. Uh, in uh, uncemented implants, the stem itself is coated and allows bone to ingrow into the stem. With cemented implants, there's immediate fixation between the stem and uh, the thigh bone. The preference of which implant one uses is based on age and uh, the anatomy of the patient. 90% of hip replacements last over 15 years and around 60% of hip replacement um, last about 25 years. Uh, but again, this is dependent on a number of different factors uh, based on the type of hip replacements that you use, uh, the activity levels um, of you as an individual, uh, if you're going to play contact sport, if you're going to do closed circuit exercises, then there's a higher likelihood that you'll wear this out quicker. One is usually in hospital for one or two nights uh, following surgery. Um, the duration of length you spend in hospital depends on how quickly you're able to get up, mobilize with physiotherapy, how well your pain is under control, and how uh, medically stable you are, uh, um, considering any medical conditions that you may have. After two days, uh, when you're home, you're usually able to walk uh, fairly independently or with the help of crutches. By the four to six week mark, uh, most patients really go back to all their normal activities. First is really before the procedure uh, that you make sure uh, you strengthen and condition the muscles around the hip. Um, so doing simple exercises that will be provided to you uh, by physiotherapy. The physiotherapists that are on the ward will give you exercises that strengthen your abductors, which are the muscles on the outside of your hip, which will help you walk a lot more uh, comfortably and smoothly following your uh, hip replacement. What you want to make sure in the first few weeks after the procedure is that you don't fall over. Um, so you want to make sure you're stable, you use your crutches if you need them, um, and you gently let the muscles heal around the hip. Uh, most patients who have hip replacement do not need long-term physiotherapy. Um, you generally tend to be able to manage doing a lot of the exercises that physio have recommended for you uh, at home, uh, or you attend some online classes. Mm -hmm.